Righty ass, just got home to three new fucking parts for the Focus. First of all, O2 sensor bung for the D-cat. Handheld tuner with two, three tunes on it. And ECU holder. Righto, so... Just remove the airbox out of the XR5 and um, about to install the uh, RS ECU holder. So I just gotta get some torque spits and got to um, remove all the plastic um, shield and zip ties on this and then tape it all up so I can put it into the new ECU holder. Right, so now I've installed the ECU into the um, new cover and it should pretty much just go straight in like that, pop straight in. Righto, so I <clears throat> haven't recorded much lately, I've done a fair bit, um, just a little quick uh, overview of everything being done. Full, full 3 inch exhaust on the Falcon, the focus is tuned, but we're just doing a D-cat at, at the moment. So there's the cat. Um, yeah, so, um, yesterday, I should have recorded, but I didn't, did a fair bit of work on the Hilux, I made a 3 inch downpipe and everything, but just... Didn't end up recording much, but there's some videos in my phone somewhere that I need to get out of there and add to the videos, but anyway, um, yeah, so today I'm doing downpipe and focus, got a bit of stain right here, got fucking O2 sensor bung, yeah, so I'm just going to just gonna fucking pull that exhaust off and yeah, get the flange cut. So that's what's on it at the moment. So I'm just gonna disconnect it there. And I'm gonna um cut that piece out off at the flange there because I need to reuse that flange. Here's the pipe I got. So it's fairly it's good enough size. All I've got to do is just um, measure the cat, measure this, cut it, um, weld the pipe on here, and then cut it to length, and then put the cat up. Put this, when it once is welded in, put the flange onto there, just tack it, pull it back off and weld it. And that's it for a D-cat. So, I'm just going to pull off the cat now and um, start the D-cat. Righto, so we got the cat out. Um, it hasn't damaged it. Let's get this up. There's no damage on the inside um, of the cat. Because it, yeah, the tune basically dumps a bit of fuel down in your exhaust. And it hasn't fucked anything yet. Still good. I think the high flow it won't hurt it too much, but... Um, yeah, it's all right. So, just going to remove this flange, uh, this gasket. We're going to cut the flange off. Cut that flange off right there. Reuse that flange. Um, and yeah, just reconnect a bung into the exhaust. And yeah, so next thing is going to be um, taking the O2 sensor out because I have to run the O2 sensor with the tune still. So, I'm just going to cut this flange off and um, clean it up and then yeah.
Righto, so now I've got my piece marked out, what I want to weld in. Um, I'm going to chop my cat out, chop the flange off, and then cut this piece, weld it in. So that would be my D-cut. And then I'll just have to drill a hole in the side. Drill a hole in the side, and then I'll be able to weld the bung in as well. So, yeah. Righto, so I've got the flange cut off. Cut, cut off now. It's got to measure this piece of pipe here. Well, I've measured it, but I've just got to cut that off and then weld that onto there. And then I'll be able to weld that flange onto the end of this once I get it under the car and bolt the flange back on so I know which um, position it needs to be in. So I'll swap these over, cut that, and then um, weld that flange on. Righto, so there's my piece. Um, this stainless was so hard to cut compared to. This one, so this must be a way better quality metal than the one that's on my exhaust originally. So, it's got to weld it in now, so it should be right. Right, so I start off with my four tack welds. Now I'm going to run a bead around it, and then um, I'll yeah, just go test fit it, and then we'll see what happens. Alright, so um, you can see on some welds, first I try to push the weld, then I pulled the weld, but you can see that it's a little bit difficult and it's hard to get your wire and your, sorry to get your um, voltage and amps right um, when, when you've got a, a lot thicker metal. This is like, I don't know, this is a lot thicker than this. So you sort of, if you're welding a thicker stainless to, <coughs> excuse me, when you're welding thicker metal to thinner, it's um, sort of harder to get the welds cleaner because if you go too hot, you'll melt through. If you go not enough, you'll splatter. Um, so you've got to sort of like go in between and with the two different metals, with the thicknesses, it's hard to set it because this is thin it's thick, so I don't know, not too bad, but yeah, should be right. Right, this is how it looks so far. That's tacked in. O2 sensors go on there, so just got to um, pull it out, weld it, put it back in. Right, so that's it. I've got that bung drilled in there, and I've just got to weld it in now. Right, I before we reinstall the um, O2 sensor, put some anti C's or copper grease. On the thread and around and the round of the face of that um, flange or bung, whatever you want to call it, because it will fucking seize. No fucking joke. <laughs> so, I just have to reinstall that in now. That's it. Tighten her up. Put her in. See how it sounds. Righto, so that's what it looks like. In. Now, first start up, see how it sounds. <laughs> 